do the trick with the knight and some post-its. It's called the flip stick trick. That's what the move is called, the flip stick. Now, the trick is you show them both sides of the knife to start off with. If there's nothing on either side. And then what you do is you take one of your little post-it squares that you've cut out and you put it somewhere on the knife. I'll put it right there in the middle. Like that. So now you show them that when you do that, that's why the knife so reflective, when you do that, both sides of the knife end up with a post-it on it. It appears on the other side too. Now, if they seem to be really impressed by that. You can do them one at a time, but sometimes after I do the first one, I just add two more. Like that. straight line. What you can do is you can show them that both sides of the knife now are three. Now at this point some people get a little bit suspicious that you're really only showing them one side of the knife. They think you're doing something tricky. And then you hand them the knife and they can see really on both sides of the knife there are three post-its. Now this only uses one move which is the flip stick move of showing exactly like they think towards the end maybe one side of the knife as both sides of the knife. But the secret is you set up the knife with three post-its on just one side. But you start off by showing them two sides of the knife that don't have the post-its as, well, one side that doesn't have the post-it as both. So that starts off on the back, and they don't know about that, but you show them this side of the knife twice when you do this. So we're gonna go through this move. So the difference is between when, you, when you're gonna spin it around to show them the same side twice, sometimes you're holding it like that where you're um, finger and your thumb are holding the short side. Notice I've kind of got my other fingers resting underneath it to kind of keep it steady. It pivots between that, so I'm touching the lock, kind of the, the we're going to call these the wide sides. That's the wide side and that's the narrow side. So I switch off between holding the narrow side and the wide side. Narrow side, wide side. My thumb and fingers are touching the wide side and the narrow side like that. And my other fingers are again crawled underneath it to kind of keep it steady. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my wrist like that. But if I do that at the same time, it looks like I'm just turning it, but they don't see that it flips. So, see, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Now, you got to have the timing of this right so there's no ever, never a flash of that. We don't want that. We just want it to. That's kind of what we do. Another temptation is that it swings around like that. We don't want that because that'll give it away. We want it straight up and down. Oop, I messed up that. Okay. Inside, here's what that looks like. Long side and narrow side, and thick side and narrow side. Wrist is just flipping. The camera again, where the audience should see. Okay. And the rest is just knowing when to use this move. So you put one sticker on, it doesn't matter where you put it, and you're going to keep doing that move. So you're going to say, look, I've got one sticker on it, and for when I put a sticker on this side, one appears on the other side. Look. So now there's a single sticker on both sides. Look, we can add a couple more stickers. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can do, we can look, we can add a second sticker. Now a second sticker appears. Pretty cool, watch this, we're gonna add a third sticker. But if you think people are getting suspicious after you do the first sticker and they think they figured it out, you jump to all three stickers right away. Because then, they don't realize that you've had three stickers on the back the whole time. And they can, even if they kind of understand that you're flipping it, they'll get confused by that probably when you say, look, there really are three stickers. Now, if they never suspected you, or if you don't think that you can kind of tell when someone's getting suspicious and when they're completely fooled, if they can't tell, look, there's three stickers on both sides. And then you say, look, we'll take one of these. You can do a second phase if they still don't seem to understand how you might have done it. If they never suspect you're flipping it, if they never like say that or say, yeah, I think I know how that's done. Then you can say, look, now it's back to two. Or here's here, here's another thing you can do. If they don't suspect you and you've got three stickers, you say, look. 
we're going to take these three stickers off. The thing is, when I take these three stickers off, they disappear from the other side too. So we're doing the move again. But well, watch this. If I rub it through my hands, I can make the three stickers come back. Not just on that side, but on both sides. See what I did there? So I took three stickers off, so now it only has three on the one side again, but then when I rub it through my hand, I just spin it real fast. So you can do this with a, with a silk over it, like that, kind of cover the whole thing to give you a moment to spin it. Oop, it's not coming off. So this is kind of a second phase you can do if people are really fooled by the first phase. But if you think they're fooled, you don't want to say anything about spinning around. You never really want to say about spinning around. If they, if they say that before you get to show them the both sides have stickers on it, then you'll cut it there. But if they don't say anything, you can just keep going. So you take those three stickers off, you show it to them, so watch this. I'm going to make the three stickers come back. So I'll knock that off. That's why I just do it with my hand usually. And then you say, look, now I've got three stickers not just on this side, but on that side as well. And then you can make them disappear one at a time if you want. So I'll take that sticker off. Now there's just two. Now there's just one. And at the end, you take the other sticker off. And now there's none. And again, you're completely examinable because now all the stickers are gone. So those are all the things you can do with the flip sticker. I hope that all made sense.